Tonight, a local woman says she has had issues for months and months after work was done in her backyard and it caused a huge mess. This all started when crews installed a fiber optic cable, but since then she's been dealing with a lot of other issues from a ruptured sewer line. And as you can see in this image right here, it's led to very expensive repairs. She spoke only to KPRC 2's Devin Clark, who joins us now live from spring. And Devin, what a frustrating situation for this woman. Frustrating indeed, Danielle. The woman says she's not only getting the runaround from AT&T, but also the subcontractors that were hired to install this fiber optic cable underground in her backyard. She says, just like the job itself, the blame is getting passed off. They didn't tell me anything, so that night I had horrible anxiety. Think I had no idea what was going on. About one year ago, everything was flooded. This woman, who asked us not to identify her, found herself in a deep mess. Everything would come out through my tub or my toilet and the sink. She says she hired a plumber and learned a sewage line in her backyard had been ruptured the day before when a contractor was ordered to install AT&T fiber optic cable underground. She says she told the contractor right away. And that's when he said, you know what, we broke your sewage line. And then he told me, we'll fix it. You're, the plumber's going to charge you way too much money. We'll, we do this all the time. It always happens. This happens to us all the time. But there was one major issue. They wanted to do it, and they're not plumbers. As seen in this picture, she says the pipe was poorly patched up, and the plumbing issues persisted until she hired a certified plumber back in April. Out of desperation, she says she had to borrow money from family and pay out of pocket. It's extremely frustrating because it, they should take responsibility for what they're doing. Between plumbing repairs and having to have her carpet ripped up, the woman says she's out about $15,000. AT&T promised to get back to us by tomorrow. Meanwhile, we also reached out to ANSCO, the subcontractor that she says AT&T hired, but we haven't heard back from them at all. Reporting live in spring, Devin Clark, KPRC2 News. Devin